So now that we have a company, let's try and get a list of all the companies like we did before. Before we got an empty list, right? So we expect now to have one record inside the list. So let's go back here and switch from a post request to a get request, keeping the same URL, slash company. So that we expect to get a list of all the companies in the system right now. So let's click send and see what we get. So you can see the response right here. It's an array of objects, JSON response that has that company that we created. So indeed this route is working. So this is the route that maps to the controller action called find, all right? That finds all the records for this specific resource. Now, if I wanted to get just information about uh, this company here, you can say company slash the company ID. So the company ID here is one. So if I just want to get information about the company whose ID is one, I can do it like so. So we do a get comp slash company slash one, which is the ID. So let's see what we get. So as you can see, we get an object. So this case gives you the specific object, the specific company information. Okay. So this maps to the controller action find one. Okay. We're doing a get slash resource slash resource ID, which maps to the controller action find one. Okay. So how about we create another company? Let's do a post request. Let's change the URL back to slash companies slash company only. And let's uh, say let's go to the body of the post request. If you can see here body, go back there and raw JSON again. Let's create another company. Let's say Google, something like that. Let's say founded in some 1997, uh, the month, let's say June 23rd. Employee count, let's say has 700. And let's create this record. Let's click send and we're gonna get, scroll down to see the response. So we create a new record so this post request post slash resource maps to the controller action create okay controller action is create and as we saw before it's going to create the record with the data we provided and it's going to add those timestamps created at and updated at automatically for you you don't have to specify this in the schema and also obviously the id which now is number two so with that in mind, let's again get a listing of all the companies. Let's go and switch to get request again. And let's click send. Now, if you take a look at the response now, we have another company there. Now we have a list of two companies because we created another one, as you can see. Now two records, okay. So we learn how to create a record. We learn how to fetch all the records and how to fetch a specific record. Like if you want to get Google, you can say slash two and you're going to get it. Now let's learn how to update a record. So we're going to switch from a get to a put. Now we're going to go here and update this googly, I don't like the name, I'm going to change to something else. So let's go into the body of this put request. Instead of googly, let's put googly -o whatever. If you want to change employee count to 707. So let's see what we get. Remember that before I had the name googly with employee count of 700. So let's see if we can update this resource and change its name and the employee count. Let's click send. Let's see the response, scroll down. Now you can see the response gives you back the object, the record with the updated properties already there. 
the name has been changed to Googlio and the employee account too. Okay, so that's how you update the record. Now, note that patch is also going to work. So if you try to patch something, for example, let's remove from the body the name and the employee account. I just want to change the founding date for company number two, which is Google. Let's change the founding date to 2003 and let's keep the same month and day. So it's going to work the same way. So we can click send and let's see what we get. Scroll down. We expect, oh, 404, now it's found. What happened? Seems like the patch actually does not work. So the Blueprint API does not provide a patch, it seems. Well, that's too bad. So we're going to stuck with the put. So let's click send. Let's see what we get. So we got the Googlio with the founding date 2003 and the employee account as before. So it seems like that sales for the Blueprint API also supports the put and it's doing the same job as patch because we only passed one property to be updated instead of the whole original object. All right, so that's, there's that detail for sales, the Blueprint API. If you want to learn more about that, take a look at the Blueprint API documentation. All right, now let's keep on going. See, that's the 2003 that we changed. And learn the final, the last verb we're going to do is delete. So say I don't like... Google it anymore and I want to delete it, you can do so. Delete slash company slash the ID of the company you want to delete. So we're going to delete company two. Goodbye, Googlio. So let's do a delete and click send. So we got 200 OK. So this is the record. Did they really get updated? Let's take a look. Let's go and switch to a get. And let's click send. So this is what we get. No record found with the specified ID. So it really got deleted from the list, from the database. So let's take a look at all the companies. I changed the URL, removed the ID, click send. And now only Apple blah blah is there. So indeed, it deleted it. So that's the sales blueprint API.